Good morning, everybody. On behalf of the Orange Bowl Committee, welcome to this year's end of year virtual celebration of the Leadership Academy. My name is Newton Sam. I have the distinct pleasure of being the committee chair for the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy this year. First, I want to thank you for joining us live for this year in celebration virtually and taking great pride participation in your kids' lives, as well as what's going to be beneficial to our community overall. And though it's unfortunate that we can't do this together in person, with all things going on with COVID-19, the irony is that we oftentimes are telling young people about the inevitability of needing to adapt and change in life. And here we are going through that journey, living that truth today. We feel very strong and proud about the promise of the Leadership Academy helping young people to shape their future, guide their aspirations, be productive members of society, and maybe even be Orange Bowl members one day. Who knows? But it is really, really important for us to continue this journey together, and we're going to do just that. We want to thank our partners with the Miami-Dade Broward School Board System, the administrators, the principals, some of who will be joining us here today. In addition to that, you will be joined to hear a word or two from my colleagues of the Orange Bowl Committee you will attest to their enthusiasm and great investment in this initiative as well. But the ones who really pull this thing together, my good people, are the administrators, the teacher facilitators. They are the ones spending the time day in and day out with our young people, and we take great pride in acknowledging them, but you will hear from them later on as well. This program certainly doesn't happen without our great sponsors. Uh, those folks include the college football playoff system, Auto Nation, Bank of America, Cinch Home Services, Comcast, Deloitte, Florida Blue, Florida Lottery, Florida Power and Light Company, Kimmet, for everything they do to support the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy. With us here today, we have George Alfonso, District Manager, Florida Lottery. Now, at this time, we're going to pass it over to George to say a few words. George? Good morning, my name is George Alfonso and I'm the District Manager of the Florida Lottery's Miami office. I am honored to join you all today at the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy end of year celebration. I'm excited to speak with you virtually about the Lottery's mission to make a difference in the lives of Florida students and families. The Florida Lottery's primary focus is to generate as much revenue as possible for the future of Florida students. Since opening our doors in 1988, we have generated more than $37 billion to education in Florida. These contributions provide funding for K through 12 programs in each of Florida's 67 school districts, state colleges and universities, and the Bright Future Scholarship Program. In fact, through the Bright Future Scholarship Program, the Florida Lottery has helped more than 840,000 aspiring students like yourselves attend college. Congratulations to all the students, families, and teachers at the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy. The Florida Lottery is proud to be a loyal, dedicated partner to education in Florida. Thank you. And now back over to you, Newton. Thank you, George. Your enthusiasm and commitment to partnering with us for the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy continues to be evident, and we appreciate this support. Next, we have the Florida Power and Light Company. Leadership is born through great adversity. At FPL, we're doing our part to fight food insecurity and other economic challenges that we're all facing, but I'm really excited for you and the opportunity that you have to be great. You're learning great things at the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy, and I can't wait to see what you bring to the table as we face future challenges. Good luck today, and I look forward to an opportunity to meet together in the future. Now back over to you, Newton. Thank you, FPL. We appreciate your continued participation and support of the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy, and we look forward to working with you for many years to come. Well, folks, we have quite the program in store for you here today. Uh, stand by with some great awards for some deserving students who went an extra mile and above who will be acknowledged later on. In addition to that, we will commemorate the rest of the end of the year by a special video uh, commemorating the 2019-2020 Orange Bowl Leadership Academy year. But before we do that, we want to make sure to give an opportunity to hear from our very enthusiastic program administrator, Dr. Mia Merritt. Mia. Greetings, boys and girls of the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy. I just wanted to say that I am so proud of you. In spite of all that you've gone through and have had to transition into, you persevered, you remain positive, and you are coming out on the other side. Orange Bowl has taught you to set your goals, 
make good choices, and apply your leadership skills. Congratulations on being promoted to the next grade. Much success in your future endeavors. And remember, Dr. Merritt loves you. Thank you, Mia. Now I'd like to turn it over to Penny Schaefer, Florida Blue South Florida Market President. Penny, take it away. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Penny. And I just want to thank all of the teacher facilitators. You know, I've been associated with this program for a number of years, and I've met some of them along the way, and they are hardworking people. Uh, they're just amazing in what they do to support these students. Um, they teach them discipline and dedication and give them a good shoulder to uh, cry on occasionally and they lift them up at the end of a school day and are teaching them all that it means to be a leader, not only from the textbook, not only from the handbook, but from real living examples as they interact with these teacher facilitators. So our hats off to all of you and all of the extra work and the love that you pour into this amazing program. Before we move forward, I think it would be pretty cool if we could bring our teacher facilitators on this video chat with us. Hey, teachers, are you there? Yes! Yay! I'm so glad you all could join us today. You know, each of you are very special and outstanding. So I want to recognize all of you individually. First, from Bear Middle School, we have Fabian Evelyn. Hi, how you doing? So glad to be here with you guys there today. Thank you. Next, from Georgia Jones Middle School, we have Dr. Monica Thurston. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad to be here, and I'm glad that you are, too. Thank you. Also from Georgia Jones is Demetria Jackson. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to be here with you all. Thank you. From Horace Mann Middle School, we have Jacqueline McKeown. I'm so happy you're here with me. Congratulations to all the Obala, Obala students. Excellent. From Lauderdale Lakes Middle School, we have Shanika Sr. Hi guys. I'm so happy you could join us today to celebrate you and your successes. Looking forward to greater things from you next year. Thank you. Also from Lauderdale Lakes, Nikki Pierre. Hi, you guys. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. I miss you all. Thank you. From Madison Middle School, we have Nicole Bond. I'm so glad you all could join us today so we can celebrate you. Let's go Mustangs. Also from Madison, Dontricia Jones. From McNichol Middle School, we have Adrian Carter. Thank you. My McNichol students are amazing. It was a great first year for us. I'm happy and excited for them. Thank you. From North Miami Middle School, we have Tanya Riley. So glad to see you. I miss all the time we spend together. I just hope that you guys move on to high school, that you take your team to learn and just make you all the better place. Thank you. From Plantation Middle School, we have Leroy Smith. Hello. Miss you guys. Be glad when we get back together and share time together so we can have a great time and talk about what's going on and what has happened. So enjoy your time, stay safe, and be good. From Plantation Middle School, we have Zachary McIntosh. Hi, everyone. Um, congratulations on finishing this year. Just remember to take your teachings with you. They weren't just for you, they're for your family and friends. It was a pleasure. And finally, from Sunrise Middle School, we have Nakisha Pitter. Good day, Orange Bowl students. It was such a pleasure to be your teacher this year, and I just want to wish you all the best from me and Mrs. Charlotte Devon. Have a great one. Thank you. Thank you. We'll miss her today. Thank you all again for everything that you do and have done throughout the whole year to make this program what it is. We really appreciate you. Thank you to everyone, and now I'd like to pass it over to a very special guest, Orange Bowl Committee President and Chair, Jeff Rubin. I want to congratulate each of you for your accomplishment in the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy. The fact that each of you have taken your time 
and made a commitment to be a part of the Academy says a lot about you and your character. It is these achievements in your life that will carry you forward to be bright, educated, and charismatic young men and women. You are building your own future. It's all up to you, and you are well on your way. Now at this time, I'd like to give a special shout out to our eighth grade students that are moving on to high school. This is a big time in your lives, and hopefully you'll take what you've learned here at the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy to make the right choices in your life and pave the way for others. Let's go over to our eighth grade teacher for some special acknowledgements. Hello, Orange Bowl students. Uh, congratulations on a short but yet successful 2019-2020 school year. As you guys transition from middle school to high school, we really hope that you take everything that you've learned and uh, just take it to high school and take it to the world. I just wanna give a shout out to all our students, Abigail Michelle, Amaya Vernius, and Joaquim Aneka Numa, Bianca Edma, Camille Providence, Carmelo Aurelian, Dashka Casimir, Denisha Cesar, Destiny Rivera, Emmanuel Vernius, Gloria Berli Alexandre, Jason Taylor, Jaden Romulus, Kevin Bautista, Kimberly Jean Jacques, Marley Saint Cloud, Rodney Saint Jacques, Chusi Bessar, Evner Pierre Lewis, Zieta Williams, Naomi Pierre, Ariana Williams, and Dashka Janvier. Congratulations, eighth graders. I'd like to give a big shout out to the Orange Bowl class of 2020 from Beer Middle School, Leah Hilario, Anna Coleman, Angelisa Chin, Camilla Alfonso, Gabriella Hansen, Gia Singh, Jason Lewis June, Jordan Thomas, Justin Wright, Natalia Perez, Nathalia Lopez, Naya Johnson, Saulo Martinez, Vincent Wembley, Valentina Lopez, and William Eliavin. Congratulations to all of you for the 2020 year in the Orange Bowl. And I wish you continued success and happiness in high school and beyond. Take care of yourselves. And it was a pleasure being your facilitator this year. I will miss you all. Hey, guys, congratulations again on being promoted to the next grade um, and making it through this year. I'm really proud of each and every one of you. Um, and I know that you're going to do great things. And I just want to recognize each one of you. So Ariana Allen. Benjamin Fay, Cody Campbell, Dana Sierra, Helena Demiati, Jaheem Jones, Jasmine Walker, Caden Johnson, Kurt Narvaez, Leilani Kendrick, Mary Kate Liven, Mary Lynn Liven, Naomi Dariska, Paula Puche, Rihanna Burton, Michaela Lewis Sutton, and Javon Jones. Again, congratulations on making it through, and I hope that you guys continue to do great things with your education. All right? Hi to all of the eighth graders at Georgia Jones Ayers Middle School. I just want you to know that I'm going to miss you. Good luck in high school. I'm sure you'll do great. But before you leave, I would like to recognize each of you individually. So here we go. Um, Diani Acius. Amy Acosta, Kanaya Brown, William Cardenas, Paris Cowart, Stacey Anna Moss, Danielle Shelby, Karen Zuniga, Grimanessa Alvarado, Spencer Germel, Nayeli Garcia Moncada, Natalia Uraco, Jordan Williams, and Travis Brown. Again, good luck. Love you. Call me if you need me. I'm here. Bye. Congratulations, Sunrise Middle School, eighth grade graduating class of Orange Bowl Leadership Academy. Uh, this is Mrs. Devone. I want to give a special shout out to Alexis Kanya, Bourbon Alteris, Brianna D'Souza, Christopher Adams, Elijah Jean Philippe, Jeanu Charles, Hannah Lee Altwell, Lamarck Toussaint, Lily O'Neill, Lucia Lamb, Maggie Gonio, Michaela Santiago, Milana Vega, Owen Emerson, Raymond Howard, Sienna Zimmerman, Sierra Badurum, Tatum Clarissaire, and Zoe. 
Zoe Terry. I am super duper proud of you guys. You guys are all stars. You guys are gonna do amazing, amazing things. And congratulations of making it to high school. I'm super proud of you guys and I can't wait to hear about all the success you guys will definitely have in your lives. Enjoy your summer and congratulations. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the part of the program where we recognize and honor our Emerging Leader Award winners. Our Emerging Leader Awards are given to one student from each class for their outstanding work and dedication throughout the school year and are nominated by their teachers. So let's get to those winners right now. To present the first award winner, please welcome co-chair of the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy and former NFL quarterback, Brady Quinn. Thank you, Jeff. Hello, everyone. My name is Brady Quinn. I'm a proud member of the Orange Bowl Committee and co-chair of the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy. First off, I just want to congratulate each and every one of you for participating in our program and being the leaders that you are in your schools. We know that all of you are going to move on to do great things in the future. Now let's get to the fun part. Let's get to the awards. Our first award winner is from Blair Middle School's eighth grade class. The Emerging Leader Award goes to Natalia Perez. Natalia is one of our eighth grade students moving on to high school and was nominated by her teacher, Fabian Evelyn. Congratulations and good luck in high school, Natalia. Next, we move over to Georgia Jones Middle School. The Emerging Leader Award for the seventh grade class goes to Maximus Moronvaya. Maximus was nominated by his teacher, Dr. Monica Thurston. Congratulations, Maximus. Next, from Georgia Jones Middle School's eighth grade class, the Emerging Leader Award goes to Kanaya Brown. Kanaya is another one of our eighth graders who's departing middle school and moving on to high school, and she was nominated by her teacher, Tamitra Jackson. Congratulations, Kanaya, and best of luck in high school. Now to announce the next two awards, I'd like to welcome our partner, AutoNation. Thank you, Brady. And my name is Mark Cannon, and I'm from AutoNation. And we're the proud sponsors of the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy. And you know what? I'm really glad to be joining you today. Our next award is from Horace Mann Middle School. The sixth grade Emerging Leader Award goes to Naya, who was nominated by Miss Jacqueline. Congratulations, Naya. You're doing a great job, and we're all here for you. Hey, now we move over to Lauderdale Lakes Middle School for the sixth grade award winner. And the winner is of the Emerging Award, ta -da 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 -da, Jasmine Nibsbit. Jasmine was nominated by her teacher, Nikki Pierre, and Nikki says she's absolutely the best at what she does. I'm excited for you, Jasmine. We are excited for you. Congratulations, knock them dead, and thanks. Now I'd like to pass it over to Bank of America to present the next awards. Farewell from here at AutoNation. Have a great day. Hello everyone. My name is Vanya Laguerre with Bank of America, and we are honored to be a sponsor of the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy. Our next award winner is from Lauderdale Lakes Middle School, seventh grade class. The Emerging Leader Award goes to Sarah Patino. Sarah was nominated by her teacher, Shanika Sr. Congratulations, Sarah. Our next award winner is from Madison Middle School, sixth grade class. The Emerging Leader Award goes to Ralph Louis-Pierre. Ralph was nominated by his teacher, Nicole Bond. Congratulations, Ralph. Congratulations to both of you. And now to announce the next winners, I'd like to welcome Cinch Home Services. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Richard Outram. On behalf of Cinch Home Services, we're so happy to be a sponsor of the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy and wish you all the very best. Our next award is from Madison Middle School's seventh grade class. The Emerging Leader Award goes to Daytron Davis. Daytron is nominated by his teacher, Don Tricia Jones. Congratulations, Daytron. Next, we move over to McNichol Middle School's sixth grade class. The Emerging Leader Award goes to Nyla Bien Aim. Nyla was nominated by her teacher, Adrian Carter. Congratulations, Nyla. Now to present the next two awards, let's bring in Deloitte. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Curtis Fogel from Deloitte, the proud sponsor of OBLA. Our next award winner is from North Miami Middle School's eighth grade class. The Emerging Leader Award goes to 
even your Pierre Lewis. Even there was another one of our students heading off to high school and was nominated by his teacher, Sunia Riley. Congratulations, Evening. Our next winner is from Plantation Middle School's sixth grade class. The Emerging Leader Award goes to Rodario Filippelli. Rodario was nominated by his teacher, Leroy Smith. Congratulations, Rodario. Now I pass it over to Kimmet to announce the next winners. Hello everyone, my name is Bill Lowe. I'm the CEO of Kimmet Corporation. Kimmet is a proud sponsor of the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy and I'm happy to announce these winners today. Our first winner is from the Plantation Middle School 7th grade class. The Emerging Leader Award goes to Yvonne Frost. Congratulations, Yvonne. And our next winner is from the Plantation Middle School's 8th grade class. The Emerging Leader Award goes to Benjamin Fay. Benjamin was nominated by his teacher, Zachary McIntosh. Congratulations, Benjamin. And for our last set of awards today, I'd like to now welcome Derek Cooper from Comcast. Over to you, Derek. Hi, everyone. I'm Derek Cooper with Comcast NBC Universal, and we're a proud sponsor of the Orange Bowl Leadership Academy. And I'm honored to be here with all of you today to acknowledge these last two winners. Our last school is Sunrise Middle School. And first up, is the seventh grade class. The Emerging Leader Award goes to Danielle Brinkworth. Danielle was nominated by his teacher, Nikisha Pitter. Congratulations, Danielle. <laughs> and our last award of the day is for Sunrise Middle School's eighth grade class. The Emerging Leader Award goes to Christopher Adams. Christopher was nominated by his teacher. Congratulations, Christopher, and best of luck on high school. And congratulations to all of our award winners here today. We are so proud of you all and know that you have a bright future ahead of you. And that goes for every single one of our Leadership Academy students. And again, congratulations. And now I'll kick it back over to Newton to wrap things up for us here today. Thank you, Derek. What a great presentation. And shout out again to all the award winners. You deserve every bit of it. And know that you have champions along your side in the journey of life to assure that you have the best chance possible to be successful in your future endeavors. However, this wouldn't be an end of year celebration if we didn't highlight and recap the year that was the 2019-2020 Orange Bowl Leadership Academy. Without further ado, let's see the video. program folks i hope so much that you enjoyed it as much as i did to our parents our school partners our teacher facilitators our sponsors and all of us on the orange bowl committee we thank you so much for your continued support and helping us navigate through what we had to do to make this end of year celebration possible to the stars of the show our young people our students Know that life is inevitably going to be difficult in some respects, but know that the answer to the riddle of life is perseverance. I know that you're restless. I know that you're ready to commute and engage back with your friends and your colleagues and your classmates. But this moment is an opportunity to recognize that challenges will come. If you persevere through it, good things will come of it. Thank you so much. Stay safe. God bless. And on behalf of our president, Jeff Rubin, our CEO, Eric Palms, and the entire Orange Bowl Committee family. Take care, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye. Congratulations to all of our Orange Bowl Leadership Academy students. We are very proud of your accomplishments this year. <laughs>
Congrats to all the OBLA students. We're proud of you and sorry we can't all be there together. Congrats. Congratulations, Orange Bowl Leadership Academy students. We are so proud of you. Please take the tools and the lessons that you learn and apply them in the future. Best of luck. Congratulations, graduates. Look forward to seeing all these wonderful things you're going to be doing going forward in high school. Please keep in touch with us. Hi Orange Bowl Leadership Academy kids, it's Jackie Travisana from the University of Miami. It was great to see so many of you this year. Enjoy your summer, keep striving for greatness, and we'll see you next year.